look like a bright one. It's a pleasure to see you. I've heard much about your deeds from my people in Bruma. I trust the stipend Tolgan gave you whetted your appetite. Good point. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Countess Narina Kavain. I assume you've noticed all the Akaviri relics I'm displaying. Well, it's safe to say I'm a collector of sorts. I've invested a great deal of time and money acquiring these bits of ancient history. In fact, I'd be so bold as to proclaim my collection the most complete in all Cyrodiil, perhaps even beyond. Except for one thing. A particular relic has eluded me for many years. Possessing this piece of Akaviri antiquity would make my collection complete. I'm of course referring to the Draconian Madstone. Some see only the conflicts between northern and southern cultures, but I see the way they are stronger when woven together. He served Emperor Uriel for many years, and so far he has done well in an impossible situation. The stone is a fine bit of Akaviri craftsmanship. Worn like an amulet, this talisman is said to protect the wearer from poisons of any type. The madstone appears as a snake coiled around and encircling itself. The eyes of the snake are supposed to be precious gems or some such. Through my sources, I've learned that the last reported location of the Madstone was the ruins at Pale Pass. Are you familiar with the history of Pale Pass? Well then, history lesson notwithstanding, I hope you can recover the Draconian Madstone. If you retrieve the Draconian Madstone for me, I'll be happy to compensate you by rewarding you with another Akaviri artifact. Are you game? I had a feeling you'd accept. Good. Then let me tell you how you're going to find the Madstone. I've come into the possession of a diary, written by an Akaviri messenger. I suspect that the text within can lead you to the ruins. Here's a translation of the passages we could still read. It was quite damaged. I've also included a rough map that was drawn in the diary as well. I'm also providing you with a unique key that was supposedly found with the diary. I'm assuming it'll prove useful when you arrive at the site. The Madstone awaits. I paid several scouts to try and find the ruins at Pale Pass before I hired you. They were only able to locate the first of a series of landmarks. These landmarks are mentioned within the diary. The one referred to as Dragon Claw Rock has been located. I'll mark it on your map. The rest is up to you. My scouts reported bitter, cold and dangerous creatures in the area, so they couldn't proceed. Be cautious and return home soon. Good luck. The messenger's diary will make a nice companion to the mad's. Alicia Caro visits her mother in Coral. And May the path ahead be free of danger. Now the prophet ranting about the end of the world. Siri.
long and perilous journey, but there is no time to rest. The army of Raymond is at our doorstep, and our supplies have dwindled. We have awaited your arrival. Tell us, what news do you bring from Akavir? Well done, soldier. Your mission is complete, and you have my thanks. Now we may rest. Long live the Akavir!
Welcome back, my lady. Have you recovered the... I never thought it possible. I mean, I had hoped... But to actually hold it in my hands... Oh, it's more beautiful than I imagined it. Congratulations. I had a feeling you were the right person for the job. And it seems I owe you a reward. This Akaviri ring was found with the messenger's diary. It awards the wearer with increased agility and resistance to harmful magic. It's known as the Ring of the Viper Eye. I hope it serves you well in your future journeys. I don't trust... The Madstone is finally mine. It's the pinnacle of my collection. Many thanks to you again. With the information you have given me about Pale Pass, it could take scholars many years to amend the history books. The Elder... May luck be always on your side. <laughs>